Yo, what's up guys, Teacher Paul here and Filippi. Hello there everyone. And today we are reacting to Sunny V2. This is uh, an interesting video about an... Well, the title says, An awful TikTok family who is making millions by lying about their height. Uh, it's an interesting topic here. I've seen them... Why would, why would anyone care about that? <laughs> well, we're gonna watch the video and we'll see. Oh, really? <laughs> why is it relevant? Yeah, somebody's height shouldn't be controversial, right? But I think it's more the lying part, I, I suppose. Let's take a look at the video and then we'll decide. Okay, let's hey guys, go. Don't forget this to like and subscribe. This is the extremely tall family of TikTok star Marie Tamara. Their heights are 7 foot 5, 7 foot 9, 6 foot 3, 7 foot 10, and 7 foot flat. Only these numbers are a complete and utter lie. None of them are actually this tall and everybody has begun to notice it. Let me show you how. <laughs> Marie began on social media by detailing her life as a very tall woman. She posted videos such as this one talking about the struggles of finding dresses which fit before concluding with a self-confident message showing that she was comfortable in her own skin. In other videos, Marie joked about dancing with the short king because he's the only one at the club not intimidated by her height. So exactly how tall was she? Well, considering she could hold her feet above doorways and refrigerators, it seems she was close to seven feet. However, she'd reveal in a different video that she was actually six foot one. Marie then restated that she was six foot one in a different TikTok video. However, only one day after claiming this, she'd post a new video in which it appeared she'd grown another inch. Wait, you're six foot what? two now did you grow <laughs> yet the likelihood that she'd had some unexpected overnight growth spurt was low given she was already 27 at the time of posting the video Wait, what seemed more likely was that marie's height was anything being embellished on to make her situation seem more interesting with the sudden change instantly reducing how much the audience trusted her what is your actual height each of your tiktoks seemed to say something different yet marie stood strong with her previous claim in an article reading i'm six foot two and dating is almost impossible i'm tired of being called a man some clarity was then provided what? when Marie introduced her even taller six foot five mother to the videos. Although what Marie failed to disclose was that her mother is a little more famous than the audience might have realized. In a previous video, it had been mentioned that the mum was a former professional they are basketball actually player, tall. and therefore by googling her name, Christine Tamara, it's not difficult to find a bunch of public information. There's an article from April 2016 explaining that she played university basketball in 1981, which exposed another lie that the mother was a WNBA player, considering the WNBA wasn't even founded until 15 years later in 1996. What's Although in possibly the first truth told on Murray Tamara's channel, the article confirmed that the mother was in fact six foot five, yet it'd be pretty dumb to lie about this considering its public record. What Marie failed to realize is that there are also public sporting records confirming her height, but we'll get to that later. With the videos <laughs> between Marie and her mother going viral, the rest of the family was then introduced as the tallest family on TikTok. TikTok, where Marie established her brother Shane at six foot nine, her second brother Troy at six foot ten, and her father Mike at six foot three. Well, that's assuming they were all telling the truth. The video of the family exploded, gaining over four million views, incentivizing them to continue making content. They do a bunch of unique videos like showing their shoe sizes and talking about their weight at birth. Yet it was their how tall are the kids and the things we make look small videos, which performed the best, gaining over 20 million views each. The family then made a dedicated Instagram called Team Tamara before Marie, Shane, and even the mother began doing paid content, with Marie stating in a WFAN interview so that she made more than six figures in her with very the background. first month. Right. This was then followed by a New York Post article two months later reading, Tamara says she now rakes in an average of $189,000 per month and once banked $295,000 in a single 30-day period. This gave the family a very strong incentive to not only keep going, but to perhaps embellish their height even even further. Although since they'd already posted multiple videos, each claiming that Marie was the shortest at six foot two and Troy was the tallest at six foot ten, it felt as though the truth had finally been established. Until all of a sudden, Marie had grown another inch and was now <laughs> six foot three. That's Dude, just I funny, swear I can't though. with this stuff. At first you're six one, then six two, and now you're six three. Come on now, weren't you six two a couple of weeks ago? Can we get a six foot three measurement to prove? Although the family was offering no such video, instead Marie continued 
continued to claim that she was now six foot three, with the trend so far already hinting at what was about to happen. Instead, Marie skipped seven whole inches to make the claim that she was now six foot ten, at which point the audience simply didn't know what was true. Six two or six three or six ten? <laughs> what? Six ten, six three? What's the real height? OMG, bro, you change your height in every video. First six three, then six two, now six ten. Yet the backlash against her lies seemed to have no impact on her follower count, and if anything, continuing to lie only boosted the family's presence further. Three months after claiming that she'd magically this gone from six two to six ten, shouldn't be that controversial though. Marie and the family had their best month ever, gaining yeah. over four hundred thousand TikTok followers, and it was only after her unexplained six foot ten growth spurt that Marie began to see any growth over on YouTube. On top of this, Marie would post a TikTok stating that the family was now making $800,000 per month, leading her to buy a $245,000 Aston Martin, although she'd then state that she was apparently too big to fit inside it, which was a shame given she and the family, as unbelievable as it might sound, were about to get even taller. On the 14th of <laughs> April 2023, Marie Tamara uploaded a TikTok now claiming to be seven foot tall. Bro, she what? started at 6'1", now she's seven feet, bro. However, in order to make it believable, she'd also need to scale up everybody else in the family. So her brother Troy became seven foot seven. Her <laughs> other brother Shane became seven foot five. What the while her mother became seven foot two. The only person whose height hadn't changed was the dad, who stayed put at six foot three. Yet this was only a plot to get more views. But we'll explain that in just Wasn't a second. He in the than meantime, her, Marie gained over 50 million views on one single TikTok stating, I'm not that tall when I'm with my mom, in which the mother's height had been embellished yet again from seven foot two to seven foot five. In the next video, the mother They're had grown another inch to seven foot six. Soon. Yet at this point, someone in the comments pointed out a fatal flaw in the family story. Nah, that's crazy because the Guinness World Record holder for the tallest woman is 215 centimeters, and it's a very good point. At a height of 229 centimeters or seven foot six, Marie Tamara's mum would be the second tallest woman currently alive, the second tallest woman in American this is history, all just rage and the eleventh tallest woman ever recorded. Clickbait. Yet she's nowhere to be seen on Wikipedia's list of tallest people. On top of this, if Marie Tamara herself was really seven foot, she should also be on this list right next to seven foot Uljana Semjanova, although again, she's suspiciously nowhere to be seen. When called out for the lie in a comment reading, bro, you are not seven foot, you are six foot two, Marie responded by pulling out a tape measure to some arbitrary length before holding it up against her shoulder and claiming that it was six foot two long. She then doubled down in the comment section by stating, if I was six to, would I be able to grab the fan so easily? Yet she'd then get destroyed in the replies by someone who simply wrote, I'm six two and have no problem doing it. The only evidence Marie had to prove that she was actually seven foot was that she stood about a head taller than her dad. However, her dad even was this was a lie, her a as few Marie had simply gotten sneaky with her camera angles. In videos such as this one, where the brothers had grown yet again to seven foot nine and seven foot ten, the dad is standing at the back while the bottom of the frame is cut off at the feet, where it's obvious Marie is wearing heels and is possibly even standing on something. When your ankles are mid-calf on the person next to you, hmm. The only time Marie showed herself standing on flat ground was in the videos where her father isn't present, although as highlighted by this comment reading, she's standing in front of the door and the camera is low. It's an illusion to make them taller. There are even more tricks at play here. For example, in this video, Marie claimed that she couldn't fit inside a shower, yet her ankles are almost <laughs> as high as How the on-off How does she take a shower? Well, in this video, it's obvious that she's simply standing on the edge of the bath, and she's not the only person in the family using this trick. Over on Shane's personal Instagram, his 7 foot 5 inch height places him head and shoulders above a door frame, yet the camera cuts off well above his knees and this isn't even the worst part. In a pinned post, Shane has his basketball stats listed, in which it confirms that he's 2 meters and 6 centimeters, or 6 foot 9 inches, and he's not the only person in the family to have their sporting records online. Troy, apparently the tallest in the family, seems as though he's just going with the flow of the family's antics. However, that's not to say his displayed height is accurate. In a George Mason University basketball profile, Troy's height is listed not as 7 foot 10, but rather as 6 foot 8, while other basketball Which websites list tall. his height yeah, as 6 foot tall. 9, meaning that he's not only the same height as the other brother, but he's at least 1 foot 1 inch shorter than what's being shown on TikTok. Meanwhile, Shane's apparent height of 7 foot 9 is a foot taller than his actual height, while the mother's TikTok height of 7 foot 5 is is also a full foot taller than her actual height. But what about Marie, the mastermind of the whole operation, whose social media presence is so untruthful, she even lies about what kind of men she's into just to make more money, stating that she's attracted 
to two five foot nine short kings while simultaneously claiming that dating at my height is almost impossible as it is extremely difficult to find a guy taller than me. Well, according to an old cross country running profile, she's not seven foot, not six foot 10, not six foot three or even six foot two. Wow. She's rather six feet and one inch tall as was stated in her first few videos. Yeah, the only exactly. person whose height hasn't been lied about at any point is the dads at six foot three. Yet again, this was only done to make the others seem taller. But I guess posting a real family photo like this one without manipulated camera angles just wouldn't receive the same kind of exposure. Despite this, the family continue to claim that they're a group of seven foot tall giants, earning millions of views and dollars by doing so while irritating the entire world in the process. <laughs> I love the soundtrack. The The background music makes it seem so criminal, right? Well, what I think yeah, it is... It's like, it's like we're watching a, a cold case yeah. scenario. It's like she's a mess. People discovered that they were hiding tall bodies. Yeah. It feels like they the, had... The, the garage or something. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they are the tallest family on TikTok. It feels like they hid the tallest family on TikTok in their basement. <laughs> Oh, internet. We 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 lost Philip here. Oh, you're back. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, so it feels like they hid the tallest family in their basement. It doesn't feel like they are the tallest family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you know what this is? This is just them feeding the trolls. And this is just mm -hmm. like rage bait and clickbait and what TikTok yeah. is basically all about. You see a lot of people putting their fake ages, like, uh, you know, putting twins, one age and then another age, and then they put fake ages so this has been happening with a lot of different accounts not only you know this one and we lost philip again but guys let me know your thoughts on this and let me know if you want us to react to more sunny v2 videos so these videos are intriguing because they tell us a story that we didn't know otherwise philip is back <laughs> you're back so what do you think of the whole situation just this to wrap up is just it's just dumb it is dumb, dumb, isn't it? It's just dumb. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know. Are you frustrated? Are you angry? I know these things are really like this whole shorts and TikTok culture. It kind of um, it makes creators feed into the the sarcasm, feed the trolls just for more engagement. Um, so it is a culture that, you know, it, it it's very annoying, but people keep feeding it so i don't think it's going away anytime soon unless you guys stop feeding into the uh, the dumb the dumbness of it because <laughs> it is so silly people are creating controversy for other people's heights but anyways guys don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye now you can get full access to exclusive content special reactions to shows series and anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more, the link is in the description. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game.